Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been quite a while since last time I uploaded the last video. Uh, this pandemic is really uh, disturbing. So basically in Australia, everything is being shut down now. We're talking about to, you know, to go back to the office, you know, to lift the lockdown very slowly, but we're still not there yet. The restaurants and the, you know, the, the gyms and the bars are still not um, fully opened at this stage. But we'll get there. So during this time, I saw a couple of um, comments uh, saying that um, you guys were interested in the Nested Traffic Manager profiles. So here we go. This video is about the Nested Traffic Manager profiles. See, I'm listening to you guys. Um, if you have anything you want to know or you want <coughs> to learn, please leave your comments or your feedback. I will try my best, you know, just to do a video or demo for you. So. Let's go into today's topic, Listed Traffic Manager Profile. Before we do that, I would like you to think about a scenario. So let's say you have an application or a website. You have clients in East Asia, you have clients in Australia East, and you have clients in West US as well. So obviously, in this kind of scenario, you would like you know just to deploy your website or app services across the world, um, you know, leverage Azure Traffic Manager, right? So you would have one app service in East Asia and one app service in Australia East and another one in West US. And then you put them underneath the Traffic Manager, one Traffic Manager profile. This profile would configure those three uh, app services as the endpoints. Now with this traffic manager, obviously you want your clients to access the you know the closest app services or endpoints, right? So in other words, you would like to configure the performance traffic routing as your uh, traffic manager's routing method. Till now, it's perfect, right? So your clients, your clients from East Asia would be redirected to the East Asia. Uh, web service, and your clients in Australia East would be redirected to the Australia East. Uh, web service. It's, everything is got good, perfect. But now, as a nature of your business, right, so your business is growing and uh, you see a lot of clients from Australia and you also want to upgrade some of the features of your um, uh, web service or your application service. Now, what you want to do is that um, you would like to spin up another uh, endpoint in Australia. Let's say you want to spin up another a web service um, in Australia Southeast, right? Um, so quite fortunately in Australia, we have two regions. Um, so in this case, what do you would do? Would you just put, you know, another app service as a new endpoint uh, and put it at under the same traffic manager, your profile? If you do that, things will be looked like this. So you have East Asia, Australia East, and Australia Southeast, and West US. There are four endpoints, and the traffic will be redirected to them based on the you know, client's um, location, right? Or based on their performance. So, But this might not be something you want, right? So for example, because this Australia Southeast is a new region, and you don't want to put you know, a whole lot of um, your resource or clients to that region and you want probably let's say you know 20 percent of your um of all your um clients from australia being uh, directed to that uh, australia southeast endpoint and the rest of the um clients from australia in other words 80 percent of the clients from australia you want to redirect your traffic to australia east so in this scenario you can't use the performance uh, traffic routing method for all of them, right? So you want to use performance traffic routing between East Asia, Australia, and West US. But inside Australia, you want to use something different. For example, in this case, we would like to use the uh, route, traffic routing method based on weight, right? So we would uh, assign Australia East a weight 80, and we also assign the Australia Southeast a weight 20. So in that case, you would use different traffic routing methods for you know, different locations. But unfortunately, traffic manager does not allow us you know, to configure multiple traffic routing methods uh, for the same uh, traffic manager profile. But what we could do is we could 
create another traffic manager profile and we configure the weight as its traffic routing method and we put the Astrona East and the Astrona Southeast as the endpoints for this traffic manager profile. And we assign them 80 and 20 as the corresponding uh, weight. Now we have this new traffic routing, uh, sorry, now that we have this new uh, traffic manager uh, profile and we configure this traffic manager profile as a child profile underneath the previous traffic manager profile. Um, in other words, it's a listed uh, traffic manager profile. And the previous traffic manager profile becomes the parent um, profile. So in this case, if the Azure traffic manager receives as traffic from a client in East Asia, it would uh, redirect that traffic to the East Asia endpoints but if the traffic manager receives a traffic from um, Australia, so that will be that traffic would be redirected to the child profile, and the child profile would, will then redirect that traffic to either Australia East or Australia Southeast, based on the weight. Right, so that's how we do the nested uh, traffic manager profile. That's a way how you can configure the different traffic routing method for different endpoints. Okay, so that's the theory of the listed traffic manager profile. In the next video, I will show you how to configure this in Azure portal. All right, stay tuned. We will see you in the next video.